Let's take a peek at using UFS Explorer to control MRT uh, to target specific files and folders or uh, imaging by use sector map of uh, partitions that aren't necessarily uh, accessible through MRT, such as the sample case we have here with uh, um, an HFS Plus drive. Um, so we go through the standard process of creating a task uh, you'll note that uh, uh, nothing is really tweaked on it. We left everything at the defaults. Um, and uh, in this case, we just image to file. You could image to a drive, doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, uh, I don't believe. Uh, one thing to note also is that uh, this uh, functionality was just added uh, less than 24 hours ago. And uh, this is just a, a preview of, of what's to come. So there may be some tweaks, modifications, or whatever. Um, and uh, just uh, thankful for uh, the UFS team for letting me, me play around with it. Um, so as you can see, we couldn't uh, access anything in the HFS partition on this drive. Um, it uh, identifies it, but uh, Data Extract or Data Explorer or whatever UFS wants to call it um, is just, just identifies the partition and that's as far as it goes. Uh, so we open up uh, UFS Explorer, do a quick scan for drives. Uh, we can see the mounted uh, drive from the DE task, which you have to do. Um, and then we just grab uh, the task uh, uh, descriptor uh, and attach it to the, uh, the drive, which creates another virtual drive in UFS Explorer. Uh, but then you have full access to the file system that was not accessible in Data Extractor. Uh, from here, uh, we can see files and folders. So what we're going to want to do is um, select the files and folders that we want to image and um, take those files and folders and um, we'll basically select them and allow UFS Explorer to um, make a map of the, the sectors, the chains. So what we're going to do is click on the, the save I'm going to click on the save contents to disk image, uh, which is very similar. If you've played with the UFS Explorer with uh, DeepSpire Disk Imager, you'll also see a very similar style of system here. Uh, but uh, basically, it's cross referencing with the map with the Data Explorer task. And uh, uh, the map that it is, is it's actually targeting the map of sectors connected to the files that we selected. So uh, then it's just a matter of leaving it at defaults. Uh, start imaging. It quickly imports the map and uh, starts imaging. Uh, well, this process is actually going to take a little longer than I had hoped. It's uh, certainly a lot faster than my first attempt at this video uh, when I had selected the whole users folder, not taking into consideration that uh, the library file itself has uh, a bazillion files it feels and it uh, after about 15 minutes I get tired of waiting for it to uh, finish jumping through the file tree uh, so uh, I believe that this one is saying about five minutes to go um, and I do believe that it may not be nearly as long as it suggests but if you uh, take note um, it is going anywhere between 30 and 50 megabytes per second uh, not necessarily the fastest imaging process, but that could be part of the problem is the, the unstable drive. Uh, there's also the factors of fragmentation, so we're uh, reading small fragments, So, the, but uh, based on the sector count, it's probably more likely um, a cross between uh, just an older drive, bad sectors, well I guess no bad sectors at this point, just unstable, uh, but uh, yeah, it is. It's it at least it's going stable and moving forward. And uh, let's say we're targeting just the des desktop documents, photos, videos, and all that type of stuff. And as we get into bigger change, you can see it's uh, going at slightly faster speeds, breaking 60 megs per second. Um, again, this is uh, the speed is uh, not so much slowed down because of the interface. Uh, there may be a bit of delay on that, but uh, I, I blame the older drive that we're working with here. So uh, you can see the uh, 
the 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 count of sectors being imaged uh, with the statistics on MRT. Um, nothing has really seems to be refreshing, but uh, um, I do believe that uh, it is interfacing directly with the actual log. Um, that is, UFS is dealing with the log itself, so MRT may not actually may not actually uh, uh, notice that things are happening behind the scenes. So uh, it'll take a second or two to finish. And look at that, we're actually breaking 70 megs per second. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. So in reality, uh, this is this is going good. And uh, let me apologize for the uh, the rambling in this video. This is certainly not uh, my my forte, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that I have something audio to go with it, and uh, I appreciate the fact that uh, I'm probably giving you useless information, but this is more for uh, existing data recovery technicians who uh, may have MRT and are considering getting UFS Explorer. One thing to also to note while I'm uh, we're still waiting here. Uh, this all works with the UFS Explorer um, demo version. Uh, the only reason you'd need the full paid version is if you get to the point where you actually want to save files out to a drive. But in the imaging process, is fully supported in the in the demo version. Uh, that said, the interfacing with MRT is not yet supported. This is uh, uh, a version of MRT that's not yet released. But uh, in due time, I'm sure it will be out, and uh, after some some glitches are are fixed up. And as you can see, it just finished the transfer process, and uh, uh, with an average speed of 58 uh, megabytes per second, which is not too bad. So um, I believe I. Uh, trying to figure these things out at times, but you have to unmount the the drive to uh, do the rescan, but uh, um, MRT has got some limitations that you uh, tend to take for granted when you're using a PC threads out and a data extractor all the time. So in this case, now I'm just changing it over to imaging the full partition by bitmap. So uh, this is imaging the used sectors. And um, again, we just leave it at the default settings. And what it's going to do is when you click start imaging it's going to quickly load to make sure that it knows what sectors to image and also uh, know uh, what sectors have already been imaged so we're not duplicating ourselves and then it's going to start start imaging the process and uh, it's going to image the the drive and you can see we hit, hit some bad sectors uh, the uh, the map on the MRT actually refreshed for that one little bump um, it didn't re refresh the statistics for that, but uh, when we open and reload it, it shows the eight, eight bad sectors. And uh, but uh, yeah, so grand scheme of things, that's pretty much all you need to see as far as how it works. It just goes pretty smooth, and uh, uh, just images the drive uh, as you would normally do uh, directly with. Uh, one of these programs.